I'm Jessie Janae, and you're watching Unboxing Things, a marvelous show where we unbox your favorite e-commerce brands and we talk all about the box. Because you're a packaging geek, right? That's why you're here. We're gonna explain what makes the unboxing so special. I'm here at my house, and so I'm gonna check what's arrived on my doorstep today. Today we have Barabi. Barabi is creating and shipping weighted blankets made out of organic materials so that they're naturally weighted. So, because it's a weighted blanket, you've kind of got a big box here and it needs to hold a decent amount of weight. I can tell that this box is closed with clear packing tape um, both on the top and the bottom. The flaps on the top and the bottom closed with tape are my dead giveaway that this is an RSC, which stands for regular slotted container. It kind of means your standard box, meaning it's not a mailer style that folds in with flaps, but you actually do tape it closed. This is a really economical box style and it also ships really efficiently and stores well on pallets. It's a great box style for holding bulky items because it's efficient to produce in larger sizes. What else can I tell, hmm? Well, I can tell that this box is printed. It's printed not just with a brand mark that says Baraby and this kind of fun graphic line, but also some copy. Your napper is here. When I receive this on my doorstep, I'm ready for napping, but I can't open this and start napping until I film it for you guys. You're in the way of me and my nap. All right, what else? They've got a URL, therapy.com. Um, they also have some more copy. A calmer, more collected world, kind of explaining how they think about the universe, why they've created this product. And also these fun little Zs, these kind of sleeper Zs. So this is just kind of simple graphics, but powerful, explaining to me what has landed on my doorstep. All of these graphics are one color printing over craft in a dark blue color. So they've chosen a custom color and printed all over these panels, but this is only one color printing on the outside of an RSC box. It actually doesn't add that much cost to this box. It's quite economical. Let's see if there's any information on the bottom of this box. All right, there's some dimensions, 11 and 15 sixteenths by 11 and 15 sixteenths by 22 and 3 eighths. This dimension is probably not exactly for me, the consumer, but probably useful in fulfillment because as they pack each component, I bet each size blanket is meant for a certain size box. And then you got your classic BMC which stands for Box Maker Certificate. And this BMC has quite a bit of information on it. It tells me what the ECT rating of this box is. ECT stands for Edge Crush Test. Uh, when you have a piece of cork, it's standing up, how much force it takes to actually bend it and crush it um, on the edge is the ECT. This box is 48 ECT. A standard ECT for a normal box you might receive for any other kind of package is probably 32 ECT. I'm drawing attention to this because 48 is stronger. This is holding a weighted blanket after all. So they're making sure the box strength is more so you don't get a busted box. The BMC also often includes an actual gross weight limit for the box itself. In this case, this box is rated for 100 pounds. This box is heavy, but it's not 100 pounds. So the box is rated for more weight than the blanket, which is really good. It's good for a box to be over strong so that the item actually comes to you safely. One more call out. This box is actually double wall. Double wall mean the, means the box is actually two pieces of corrugated actually bonded together, double. So instead of one single piece of wavy corrugate, there's two pieces bonded together. When we open this box up, we'll actually look at what those two layers are made of. But that's what double wall means. Two pieces of corrugate bonded together, more strength. And that's probably how you get this 48 ECT rating. I'm gonna tip it upright so the copy is forward. It's probably how they intend for me to open it. And open it up. Before we even go in the box, I wanna tell you what this double wall is made out of. I love looking at double wall because it's two pieces of cord get bonded together. It's exciting. That's excitement for me. So one of the layers is a classic B flute. B flute is one of the most common grades of corrugate. Gotta have some B in there. There's some vitamin B. Just kidding, no one calls it vitamin B. <laughs> Do not say that to people. The other corrugate in here is actually bigger. It's a wavier, bigger grade. 
and got a BC double wall is what you're looking at. You got your Bs, you got your Cs, all your vitamins in. Um, we're gonna move on to going inside the box. Inside the box, I can tell there's some bag action happening. Pull this bag out. Let's see if there's anything else going on in here. Oh, well, we got a little label. Okay, we got a thermal label. This is a thermal label printed with my actual pack slip. Why is this a label printed with a pack slip? I'm glad you asked. I love the inquisitive nature that you have because here's what happens in fulfillment. This is a thermal label that's for shipping. This is very standard. Oftentimes a second thermal label is used as a pack slip. The reason why is that the fulfillment software prints out the shipping label with all your information and that same piece of software also knows what you ordered. So it prints a second label right after that with your packing information that can be torn off and put in the box. It's a simple way software-wise to keep the shipping information and the packing information all in one place and coming out of one printer. It prevents the need to print out a separate sheet of paper from a separate printer. So even though it might seem a little wasteful to use a label to print out a pack slip, it's actually kind of not really because it's efficient from a process standpoint. The fulfillment center doesn't need more printers. And also this is smaller than a piece of paper. So it's actually potentially less material used. Now we've reached a bag. This is a beautiful fabric bag. Feels like cotton, looks like cotton, smells like cotton. I think it's cotton. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure. And then it's secured with this string, which could also be cotton or hemp. Um, but again, they're kind of emphasizing the natural materials by having this speckled textured bag that is clearly a natural material. And also this woven rope that is also clearly a natural material. This brand is really helping you see visually that the product is a natural material and they're playing that up through the packaging too, which I really appreciate from a consistency standpoint. So this bag is custom sewn for this product. I can tell because it's got a bottom, circular bottom, that is really well sized for this item. So it's most likely a bag that Baraby is having produced custom for their packaging. And bags like this can be produced as part of a packaging suite. Um, at Lumi, we often make cloth components like zippered bags or drawstring bags or tote bags that go with a brand's unboxing experience. Uh, so it's very standard and actually can be less expensive than brands think. And it's also much more likely that someone keeps a cloth packaging component than a plastic or paper one. But wait, there's more. If you were wondering whether it's a custom bag, boom, there's actually custom branding on it. This Barabee label is printed with white ink um, on a craft color and sewn onto the bag. Uh, there's also an actual hang tag hanging from the string that secures the bag, two hang tags to be exact. Self-care in three simple steps, one tag says. Clear the calendar, remove these tags, get under your napper, and feel incredible. This other tag simply says Baraby. And on the back of the instruction tag, you've got really some of their fun Z graphics as well with the line too. So these are fun branded elements. Um, they're both paper-based, can be recycled. This string that closes the bag is actually not a drawstring, but just a string that's tied and integrated into the bag itself. It's actually sewn into the bag. It's not just a free flowing um, string. Again, kind of showing this bag was thought of and actually designed for this product. And if I wiggle it off here, I can actually expose my Barabee beautiful blanket. The product feels really nice and makes me feel nappy, but alas, I'm still filming. So I'm gonna talk about the packaging, not the product. Uh, looks beautiful, but fits perfectly in this bag. The other thing that I love is that this bag is not hard to remove. They've not made it so tight that it's like shimmying off something really tight. Um, it's actually quite simple to take off. Um, and so I can kind of save this bag in my closet for when I wanna store something, or I'm sure I could use it for something else. Maybe it makes a great laundry bag or travel bag. They've invested in this component and it's really unlikely that I throw it out. Something notable about Barabee's packaging is that they're shipping a textile item, but they're shipping it with no plastic components. This is an admirable effort um, and it isn't easy. As a home user, you don't have any plastic to dispose of. You just get the product, this beautiful textile bag, and then the paper-based packaging that can all be recycled. I think it's time to roll in the recap. <laughs> Thank you.
Barabee has a really cool product, but let's talk about three things I love about their packaging. First up, plastic free. Their packaging doesn't have plastic components. It's a cloth bag, craft box, no plastic, big deal. Next up, it's plant-based. This box is made of trees, usually sustainably forested trees, of course. And then also the bag is made out of something like cotton. So everything is actually plant-based in their packaging, which is a really cool thing to pull off as well. And then thirdly, it's gentle. Not just gentle in the environment, they actually do one tree planted for every blanket that they ship out, so that's incredible. But it's also gentle feeling, meaning the graphics have this kind of subtle bounce to them, the line, the little Zs. Also, the materials are really soft. Um, not even all cotton bags that ship out um, have this soft feeling, like it's already been pre-washed. So the gentleness of the brand comes through in the packaging, not just in the ecological footprint, but also in how it feels. This has been Barabee, Unboxed.